Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Minority Transplantation uh, Organ Donation Program. And we are fortunate to have with us to talk about organ donations and uh, transplantation two persons from Harry Medical College. Uh, first is Dr. Makita Faulkner. Uh, Dr. Faulkner is uh, at Meharry Medical College, and with Dr. Faulkner is Dr. Rodwick Stevenson. Uh, Dr. Stevenson is a transplant surgeon at Meharry Medical College. As a matter of fact, he is the chief transplantation surgeon at Meharry Medical College. And uh, Dr. Faulkner, let me welcome you and uh, Dr. Stevenson to uh, the show this morning. Thank you Thank very you. much. Uh, you know, Dr. Faulkner, I think that uh, what we'd like to do this morning is to talk about uh, minority organ donations and tissue transplantations and other issues dealing with uh, uh, the uh, problems that minorities have in terms of uh, organs and uh, trans tissue do donations. But before we do that, let's have you and Dr. Stevenson give us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in your lives and leading you to where you are now. Okay. Well, first of all, I am a graduate of Meharry Medical College. I graduated from Meharry in 1981 and decided to go into internal medicine. So I did my residency there from 1983 to, uh, I'm sorry, from 1981 to 1984. And from there, I did public health in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. After being in public health for a while, I decided to go into kidney diseases. So I did a fellowship in New York at Long Island Jewish Medical Center and returned to Meharry in 1989. When I got back to Meharry, we started uh, our kidney uh, program, our dialysis program there, and we had a, quite a big kidney service there. And at that time, I noticed there were a lot of patients going on to dialysis, a lot of minority patients. Even though this state is only 15% minority, we end up about 50% on the dialysis uh, waiting list. So a lot of us are in the end-stage renal disease program. Then I met Dr. Callender, who uh, is a, a transplant surgeon at Howard University, mm -hmm. and he gave a program in St. Louis that talked about organ donation and the need for organ donation among, among minorities. At that time, I said that if there was anything that I could do in that area, that I would be willing to put full forth effort to try to get more African Americans off of dialysis and to encourage transplantation. And after that, uh, I worked at Meharry for about three years on uh, very small grants that dealt with organ donation. We had a community program, then we had a national uh, health professional program for students at HBCUs, which was quite successful. But later, after Meharry uh, decided to move over to the General Hospital uh, for renovations of the hospital, I decided not to apply for a grant at that time. But Howard. Dr. Callender at that time at Howard University had received a national grant to set up uh, local minority organ transplantation education programs in cities across the United States. And Meharry received one of those awards from Howard University. And therefore, we've been working now with the MOTEP program, which is the Minority Organ Tissue Transplantation Education Program. And now we're, getting, we're starting this year, uh, we're going full force and hopefully we can work with the Kidney Foundation, uh, the NAACP, and Tennessee Donor Services, as well as the Leukemic Society, which deals with m bone marrow transplantation. And hopefully we can get enough people to donate for minority, of minorities to donate for bone marrows, so we can get some people who need bone marrow transplantations for minorities off the list as well. Very good. Uh, <coughs> Dr. Stevenson, I think that she's talked about uh, quite a bit of activity in the area of minority donations, but now organ donations. But now when it comes to uh, organ donations, and I think as your green scrub suit would indicate, when it comes to organ donations as the chief uh, transplantation surgeon at Meharry, what do you see in, and wh how do you see this as an issue? And, but first, give us some information about how you became the uh, chief transplantation surgeon at Meharry Medical College. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I'm from New Orleans originally. I went to Meharry Medical College also. Uh, upon uh, graduating from Meharry, I did a residency in general surgery at Howard University Hospital in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C., where I trained under uh, Dr. Clive Callender, who Dr. Faulkner spoke of. Mm -hmm. Dr. Callender is also a graduate of Meharry. And uh, while at Howard, I worked with him on the transplant service. Uh, 
and, and really became interested in it then and told him at that time when I was a resident that I would like to go back to Meharry to do at Meharry what he's doing at Howard. Mm -hmm. I went on from Howard uh, to the University of Pittsburgh, which is the largest transplant center in the world, and trained under Dr. Thomas Starzl, mm -hmm. uh, who's a transplant pioneer. And while uh, doing my training in multi-organ transplantation, I began to do a lot of speaking in the black community uh, on the issue of organ uh, donation and transplantation. Um, decided to come back to Meharry mm -hmm. and uh, returned to Meharry in 1992. Was it 92? No, 1994. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 1994 when I came back mm -hmm. and um, was, had the pleasure of working with uh, Dr. Faulkner who's been doing excellent work in the organ donation uh, aspects uh, and, and so I think that I just wanted to be with her doing these uh, projects and the team of the nephrologist and the transplant surgeon working together I think uh, is, uh, has been going well and is going to blossom. Um, that issue is very important as Dr. Faulkner said uh, we make up half of the waiting list uh, for, for mm -hmm. organs and one of the things that we haven't been doing as African Americans is donating uh, mm -hmm. organs in the same, uh, uh, at the same level. Mm -hmm. So I want to help further that just as Dr. Faulkner wants Do to help further Dr. Faulkner, that. I think up front, <coughs> when you talk about uh, the donation of organs, uh, what do you find to be the uh, major obstacle to that uh, happening in the African American community? Just as a question up front here. Well, the major obstacles that have been found nationally as well as locally, and we did some community work and mm -hmm with questionnaires to the local community, is that there's mistrust of the medical community. The patients just feel that, or the community feels that someone will take their organs without them actually being brain dead. Mm -hmm. And so they don't trust doctors when they, when, the, when they come into the emergency rooms and say, well, you know, your family member's brain dead, would you like to donate? They don't think that they have enough information at that time. Mm -hmm. So mistrust is one of the medical community. Uh, number two is that they think there may be some disfigurement of the bodies mm -hmm. when uh, there's the f when the funeral comes around, and they, you know, they ask morticians and other people in the you know community, what should they donate? How would things be with the burial? And mm -hmm. some people don't know, and so they'll say, well, no, I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. So they figure disfigurement will be you know mm -hmm. one thing. Then another thing is that uh, they feel that the organ should go to another black person. They think that if the organ is taken, that or they give the organs, that they'll go to a white person. So mm -hmm. there's some racism involved in organ donation as well. And uh, Dr. Uh, Stevenson can elaborate on others mm -hmm. because uh, he's in that area as well. Mm -hmm. Very good, uh, Dr. Stevenson. Uh, we've got about we, we'll have a break coming up, and we'll interrupt you. But go on and give us some information. Yes, sir. Well, uh, one of one of the main reasons is lack of education about the issue. You know, the, all the reasons that uh, Dr. Faulkner has has elaborated on so far are very important. And one of the things that I think is also very important mm -hmm. is that there is the lack of education about the issue. So that's why mm -hmm. Dr. Faulkner, myself, Dr. Calendar, his group, uh, we want to make this thing a national effort to try to increase the awareness mm -hmm. about organ donation in the African American community. Mm -hmm. and, and, and how do you find that, uh, af that African American donations compare with others, uh, Dr. Faulkner? African American donations are low. Mm -hmm. We were 3.5 percent about 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, when Dr. Callender was first approached about the low organ donation rate of minorities. Now we're up to 12, 13 percent, which is still low because we're about 33 percent of the Dallas's population overall and we are still about over 50 percent of the transplant waiting list in many areas so still that donation is very low and we're trying to get it up to a higher number so we can get more of us off of dialysis. Very good and when we come back uh, Dr. Stevenson we're going to have you to uh, talk about some of the problems associated with that. Uh, we'll be back with you following this commercial break.